Hello guys, this is Dr. Lior Barrell. Now you guys remember the episode before we did a review on this and this, which to me was just about a few seconds ago because I'm filming them in order. <laughs> but you know, I'm giving you the illusion, a very stupid illusion because I'm wearing the same clothes. But now the next thing... <laughs> But again, I don't hide who I am, guys. I'm a real person, you know. You guys are real. I'm real. That's what we do. We give real information. We're going to do right here an unboxing, and I'm going to explain to you why this was extremely important. And we're going to do, this is one of my favorite, favorite ball head mounts. And you could get them in every kind of... Uh, size you could get them in every kind of uh, you know as much as weight as you need on these this is by a company called Oben we're gonna use it with the Robus this thing has a five-year warranty I believe uh, it uh, and we're gonna go right into it Okay, guys, so we're going to go right into this right now. So this thing has a base diameter of 1.9 inches, a height of 3.7 inches, uh, weight is uh, 0 0.85 pounds, and the maximum load on this baby is 17.6 pounds, which is really good, especially the fact that I'm using it on something that could handle even more than that. So let's unbox this baby. So let me just show you how it looks from every freaking angle right here. Five-year warranty. Did I mention that? amazing anyways uh let's get right into it so this is the be uh hyphen 117 dual action ball head okay so this is pan and tilt guys and very smooth you this thing i highly recommend it because i've used uh one from Oben on my sli uh one of my sliders and did a great great job uh i i replaced the stupid thing that came with it i'm, I'm gonna say it's stupid thing that came with my slider uh very dumb head i don't even know why they freaking had it but uh it really ticked me off a lot uh and i replaced it with one of these and was absolutely uh, absolutely loved it so it's the b series comes with right here a uh, a thread here i think it also yeah a five-year warranty steadiness yada yada yeah comes in nice bubble wrap really professional and not like a piece of junk like the other one came uh, came to me before that really um, I'm sorry I, I got to talk about it I don't like talking about gear I, I love every gear but that one was god awful the one I did a review ages ago about and I I was looking for a replacement and I'm so happy that I found a replacement that I can uh, so let me just okay I'm gonna need my knife again <laughs> all right <laughs> all right let's uh... Let me see here. Where's that damn knife? Oh, here we go. You guys know I'm gangster all the time. It's just, you know, it's the way it is. Uh, so right here. Right. Let's... Really pro. Now, guys, I first have to tell you, with ball heads, I'm going to say one thing. Be very careful because I see so many people... Uh, complaining about ball heads from every other company. Oh my God, it's stuck. Oh my God, I don't know what to do. It's stuck. It's, it, it, it's not moving. There's a reason for that. When you, sometimes we're lazy, okay? So we, we position the dial, okay? We look at the, uh, the leveler here, okay? We're looking at it. We level it perfectly. And sometimes we're just off a little bit and we're too lazy to loosen it. So what do we do? We do it by force. Now, when you do that, you see the paint in the metal here starts to degrade it starts to grade out now when you do that and it grades out it ends up getting stuck especially with different uh, you know from the winter to the summer and sticky weathers and all kinds of stuff eventually it gets stuck and you won't be able to move it now how you could remedy it very easily you put some antifreeze in this thing or dw40 whatever the hell it's called and take a rubber mallet and knock it you'll probably knock it back out but why ruin your unit and especially if you did that already Odds are it'll get stuck again, so there's no point, you know? So just treat your gear with respect, okay? I'm just telling you that uh, because I care about you guys and I don't want to see uh, anything bad happening to your gear, especially like when you need it for, uh, you know, uh, weddings and stuff like that and you have bridezillas hitting you up. I swear that I had so many bridezilla stories. I could, uh, In fact, I'll probably write a book about it one day. Uh, why not to be a wedding photographer, videographer? But, uh, I mean, that's where we make our bread and butter, right, guys? So right here, you got some nice measurements. You loosen this. That's the quick release. Okay, quick release plate right here. Very solid. Very uh, awesome. See, this has uh, 
Now I am going to say this also, guys. Uh, some people, you see this, the, the thread here. I mean thread, uh, the little ring. So some people think by just twisting that, you know, you're fine and secure. Always make sure, I just want to make sure that you guys know, take a penny or, or a screwdriver. And e even though you're tightening it, always tighten it a little more with a screwdriver just to be on the safe side. I, I heard some real big horror stories on that. Now you could remove this also if you want. If let's say you had a damaged thing and you need a replacement, you can move it with a hex screw. That's totally fine. And um, see, it just goes right in. You don't even have to slide it. <laughs> really cool for just like boom, boom, run and gun and whatever. Now here it is. Okay. You're loosening this. This moves very, very nicely. It has a bubble leveler right here. Rubber, uh, you know, rubber grips on here. Rubber pads, more like it. Okay, so we're going to do this. And this is what I'm talking about. For sliders, what I like doing, I'm not even kidding. You could do it with a rubber band, and you're basically turning it on the slider as you're moving it. It feels so smooth, guys. And it has a... This thing, you know how some of these things, like the head that came with my slider, horrible. It After a certain time, it goes click, click. You don't want that. This thing, solid the entire damn time, okay? The entire damn time. And look, you can replace the thread, uh, uh, you know, uh, the thread however you want. Uh, I'll show you. It comes with, where is that damn thing? Because I want to put it in now. You know what? We're going to do the Robus. We're going to take it out again. And we're going to put it on it. And I'm going to show you how this baby looks. So here we go. So you see, if you go like this. You notice you can tighten it and you're fine. But if you had another type of thread that you needed, you have that. It comes with an adapter as well. So you, you could get a 3 8 or whatever and you, you're fine. You put it right underneath. You clip it in and that's it. But look, guys, look at this baby. Look at this baby. Okay, look at this baby. And then you tighten it if you want to not move it anywhere. Now, again, don't, when you tighten these, don't push them by force and you should be fine. But look how solid now. With this solid monopod that I did a review for y'all, now you're seeing this thing in action. Okay, absolutely amazing. Okay, let's actually, you know what? Let's see how this baby looks when it's all pimped out. Okay, so we're going to just do it this way. Okay, I'm going to take this out from here. Okay, like we did before. And I'm going to put my pimping, uh, this is, uh, if you could buy them as a kit, I told you guys, get this as a kit. You guys will not be sorry. You will absolutely love it. I have like so much crap on my table right now that we did reviews on and I'm doing all videos right now, trying to get them all out to you guys ASAP. Okay. Uh, here we go. Lock them at, lock them in. And, uh, we're going to take this one. We're going to take this out. Oh, we took them out. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. And right here, okay, we're going to, like a helicopter. There you go. Okay, now check this out, guys. Check this out. Holds really stable, and you saw how high this monopod could go. I'm not even going to go into that right now, but look at this. Okay, look at this. Beautiful. Beautiful. You could just pimp it out like this, boom. You know, your camera, you just lean it forward, lean it back. You have a bubble leveler here that could tell you exactly where you're at. Does a great job. And whammo, look at this baby. How incredible is this? So this thing is solid, I kid you not. Really, really solid. This thing is a beast. It's fat, look at this. Fat metal, okay, aluminum construction. Really nice. Now guys, you see this? When you tighten it, that you have to tighten it in order to remove it. Then you spin it, and you can remove it with ease. Now, you see what happened here. See this? You want to make sure you tighten it, because if you didn't, you see, that's what happens. It comes out. But this is cool, because you can take this out also, okay? And you can turn it, turn this the other way, and then you have that you know, a better, uh, you know, for whatever camera thread that you need it for. That's pretty much it. So guys, I want to hear what you guys think down below. I definitely rate this baby a 10 out of 10. This is a 10 out of 10. I love the color of this thing. I kid you not. I do. I love black anything, but I love the fact that it has the blue 
band here and here it's all black just in case if you know you need to explain it to somebody it's nice and it tells you the numbers here so you can properly measure it also on here so you have proper measurements i mean this thing is really really cool i really dig this a lot a lot and i love that these things are so removable you can just mod it however the hell you want but this is really cool and i really dig this and uh definitely good for uh open i do believe this has a five-year warranty on this thing uh so which is incredible uh and that's all i gotta say about that and uh if you guys look on amazon or bnh bnh because i'm in new york uh, you'll see they even sell the quick release plates uh, under accessories. They're really cheap. So any if you lose your quick release plate, I always recommend carrying two, to be honest with you. Uh, I just, you know, I prefer it. Again, I'm paranoid. So, you know, do what, what you will. But it's always good to get like two just in case. And then you're like, all right, I'm all set right now. And that's, and that's that. But really, really awesome. Really solid. I love that it's flat. And again, remember what I told you guys. On the 3X, uh, you can use this as a crane. And now you have this baby right here, okay, that you could put other cameras on. But uh, if you put your Osmo on it, you have a 3-axis gimbal that looks like one of those video motion heads that you can control. Uh, and at the same time, you have it on a make pretend crane <laughs> portable crane that you could take just about anywhere with you so anyways let me know what you guys think like subscribe hit that bell button as always guys self-funded here i buy this all with my own money with my own moolah and why because you guys requested and i enjoy giving you guys real information from real people that's really what it's all about it's real people like you and i and and you guys are already doing more than enough i love you guys for offering me patreon services and all all of that stuff but i tell you guys you guys are already doing more than enough we live in uncertain times i'd rather you guys save that money and buy this gear that we do information on uh that we do reviews on and uh you know and spoil yourself spoil your families okay uh invest we live in uncertain times and you guys are already doing more than enough you guys know what you're doing you guys are the jury do you agree do you disagree did you buy one of these babies what do you think of it i want to hear down in the comment section below what do you think of this solid damn thing that has 10 uh year warranty or this one right here that has a five-year warranty or this damn thing right here that has a five-year warranty that's solid like a rock what do you guys think of this i mean absolutely stunning 10 out of 10 d definitely for that video head as i gave this one right here uh you know uh for that ball head and as i gave this one here for the monopod uh so guys let me know what you think like subscribe hit that bell button as it helps the algorithm a lot helps people uh sift through less garbage to get to the truth because we all know how much we hate paid reviewers and that's the exact reason why i don't dig that and uh why i opened this channel in the first place and not not too shabby less than two years we did this that we took this channel seriously and look what happened <laughs> over eight thousand subscribers not too bad for advertising of mouth you know so anyways let me know what you think like subscribe hit that bell button have a good one y'all take care bye as always guys if you like what you see self-funded here be sure to check out all my other uh stuff from mini series to unboxings to technology you know and uh, Nintendo reviews and 3D printer uh, reviews and all that good stuff. If you like what you see, the only way you can help the channel is by liking uh, this video, subscribing, and hitting that bell button. As many more cool videos to come. Definitely want you guys in it, and I want, to, I want you guys to be vocal. Definitely comment down below. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Have a good one, y'all. Take care. Bye.